Okay. Uh, politics have been playing an important role in the United States. Uh, politics is getting worse every day. Clinton and her husband are the only some of the worst crooks, liars in Washington. How can anyone be behind Elizabeth Warren, the cigar store Indian? That's all she is. She's a wood for a brain. The Clintons in, in Warren are by far the worst to come down the highway in a long time. All the other stupid followers should be in prison and put to death. All the stealing and phony articles, phony papers they pass from one fool to another. Trump is making headway in his campaign. The word wrong is not the right word. The, they would destroy the United States hour by hour. Your money wouldn't be worth a nickel. Your IRAs, stock money, and many, and many other things will be going down the drain. Do you think they would take care of you? Yeah, sure, sure they would, sure they would. Sure, you would have to start digging your grave again. To, to all you people who want me out of town, sit on it. I'll leave when I want to leave. And if you don't like it, lump it. I'll come down here and throw me out. Uh, uh, uh. All you want is stupid. Is uh, All you want to be is stupid and want me out of town. Uh, to vote no on a new school and water plant. What about a new police station? You've got to vote no on a school and a water plant. The, 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 the school department has got more money than God. And a water plant is not being run correctly, as you can tell by that moron that goes be, before the uh, so-called water commissioner sales, uh, selectman. He don't know nothing. Have you heard anything in the paper about the water in the last two or three months? No. Go to any hospital. Go to any hospital in the emergency wards and see if these people, see who's coming in with big sores inside their mouth, in their kidneys, in their liver, is malfunctioning. Go ahead and see. Go ahead and see. Go ask your own doctor and see what, and to see what he says. This town is going to hell. And put your head, put the head to, put your head to the grindstone and finally realize it. This town is going to hell. And plus, we got a new uh, celebrity in town. Uh, this guy, uh, he used to be on a school committee. He's having, uh, he's starting sex camps for young girls. That's really good. I can't think of his name right now, but I really don't care. He's got these places where he ties them up, takes them places, does something to them, and these jerky girls go with him. That's really nice. This is happening in Shrewsbury, whether you know it or not. Ha, 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 ha. We need a new police station. Get that through your head. Uh, we got a, we got a, uh, we got a uh, daycare center library, and uh, that's all it's good for, is taking care of babies. And certain groups go up there to hang around just so they can have their kids being looked at while they're down the coffee shop having a cup of coffee and talking to some other moron in town. Please. This town is going down the drain because of no-nothing officials. And you, you people are letting it happen. I will not let it happen. I will not let it happen. I'll, fi I'll fight bare fists. I'll fight anybody, anytime, anywhere who think they're so smart. They're all a bunch of brown noses. They brown nose the officials. They kiss their behinds. And they do everything behind everyone's back. And in, in these town meeting members, 99% of them are uh, officials in Shrewsbury and people who work for the town. Get rid of them. They vote on their own pay raise. They vote on the things they're told to vote on. And that rotten finance committee and that rotten school committee and some of the, some of the selectmen, not all of them, they're a disgrace. They're all mentally deranged. They, they got mental in, illness. There's a place on the hill over here that treats that. Why don't you make sure they get there? Bunch of jerks. We have been lied to week after week about the water. How many more lies will they come up with? Check on medical facilities. I just said that. See how many people from Shrewsbury. What are they there for? Uh, but, you don't, but you don't care as long as the officials lie at meetings. We know the new town manager doesn't care. He would be there. On that, on that, every minute, on that, every, about water and stuff, of every day. But, but you, but 
but now, as long as he gets a useless school water plant in the hell with everything else. Uh, he's saying the hell with he's saying the hell with residents. He's listening to the to the uh, brain dead kamikaze uh, g genocidal SS Nazi finance committee and the Nazi school committee. He's listening to them. Don't give the school committee any more money. They have more money than you know about. They never, never, never tell you how much money they got in the bank. And they abuse special needs children. They spend all their money as soon as it comes from Boston. Then when the parents go up there for help, all they know how to say is, well, you, you poor parents have to fund the bill for that. That's their fault. Listen, people, I'm telling the truth. Pay attention. Go up to these schools. See how, how, they, how your kids are being taken care of. See who the teachers are taking these kids, these little beautiful, God bless them children, into these rooms where nobody is and scolding them. Look what's happening out in the Midwest. Look what's happening out in the West in the Midwest. These kids are getting abused. These kids are getting abused, and they only pick on special needs kids. What the hell is wrong with you people? Wake up and smell the roses. One of them could be your kid. Go up to the school and put your foot down. Your child must be accompanied by a normal teacher and a normal principal and everything else. No kid should be in a room by himself with a teacher. Uh, no kid, especially the special needs kid. Do you think your, your child would go home at night, a special needs kid, and, tr and try to tell you what happened to him during the day? No, because they're afraid. And these people make them afraid to say that. It's got to stop. All this crap and shoes has got to stop. No school, no water plant, no nothing. As soon as something gets built, they put it in your friggin' head to build something else. And you people don't understand that? Well, it's, black, it's in black and white. It's in black and white. Any moron will know that. As soon as you finish one project, ten more come down the pike. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to petition your state representative, your congressman and senator, and tell them what's happening in this town. I don't care what they're for. I don't care what they're for. But something is definitely wrong in this town, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, I don't know if you can read that sign, but I'm angry. Pay attention to the special needs children. I don't know, I'm, I don't know how, I'm gonna be, how long I'm going to be angry, but I figured I'd tell you. But you must know by now. You must know by now. You must know by now. Uh, <sighs> we have a lot of phonies in this town who knew, settle everything in the coffee shops. No guts in front of a camera because they lie and act like big shots and big zeros at the coffee shop. They think they're going to discuss all the town secrets at the coffee shops and the people at the coffee shops think they know what they're, they're talking about? I doubt it. I hope you choke on your coffees. Uh, bunch of zeros, bunch of zeros. This isn't Hollywood. This is a useless, abusive, disgusting town full of show-offs. Come stop me. No one won't. They will need a gang to stop one person. Who tells the truth? The truth never hurt anybody. The truth is the officials are not representing the townspeople. Only self-serving, making themselves look important, which will never happen, especially the school and the finance, some selectmen and the town manager. They think they know everything, but no zero, nothing at all. Go to the other town meetings. Quite a change. They take care of the taxes, fees, and the most re important thing is the residents. They look, they look after them. And these fees that the school department's raising, that's all a bunch of lies. They don't need that extra money for no school bus. When a school bus drops off all the kids, go down and stand, and stand on any sidewalk at Soquin Sig. They're, they're going 60 to 70 miles an hour just to get back to their car so they can go home. What if, the, what if, they, what if they don't drop off all the kids? What if they don't drop off all the kids and the ki one kid is scared and sitting down on the floor behind the seat and a jerky bus driver supposed to go behind the seats and make sure he drops off all the kids at the right stop. What happens then? What if the bus gets in an accident? And what happens to that beautiful child? 
Tell me, tell me, tell me. There's an email address on the screen. If you get guts enough to write me, put it on the email. That's if you get guts. But you got no one has proven to me they have guts in this town. No one. No one. No one. Ha, 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 ha. In that library. That library's such a big joke. Uh, you keep donating money to a, to a baby care center in useless schools. The school's department never tells you what they have in the bank. I said that, and I'll say it again and again and again and again. They, all they do is steal, extort, and spend all the money they, they want. Don't give them a penny. They certainly don't deserve it. And hiring no-nothing teachers that went to school, that never went to school. They put a title in front of their name to have people think they're so hiring smart people. But they're no-nothing and can't teach a person or an animal that they will come up with sooner or later and they'll teach the kids nothing. And they already know, know that they are promoting stupid people and wasting our money. They have no heart, brains, or caring for the kids. Just look at the clock. Just look at the clock all around you all day long and yell at the kids for, the, for doing nothing. I'm sure people, Brown knows them, whisper, take care of my kid. I will find out. I will find out and the whole truth was going to come out. Bet your life I'll find out. No one's going to stop me. No, no uh, teacher, no nothing. Principal, no nothing. I have as much right in those schools as anybody else. I'm a taxpaying citizen like everybody else is. And I'll do what I want, when I want, and how I want. And to you people who do nothing, still don't do nothing. Don't do a damn thing. Don't care about your kid. In the high school, they can punch somebody in the mouth. At least they're big enough. But these little beautiful children, they deserve the best care possible. But they're not getting it in Shrewsbury. Put that through your head. They're not getting it in Shrewsbury. Not at all. Uh, 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 uh. No one can straighten out the finance and school committee now unless they all resign and get good people. Just think, no, no show-offs, no more big shot attitudes, no talking behind people's back. There's a lot of good people in Shrewsbury, so make yourselves known. Make yourselves known. Go to a coffee shop and debate somebody about something. Go ahead. Your name will be carried around. I'll vote for you, and all my people will vote for you. And as far as I'm concerned, what's happening to me is not hatred. The faith on the, this last weekend, the Facebook was loaded with my show, loaded with my show, and the people who meet me everywhere. I must have at least uh, oh thousands of people by now behind me. But the Facebook went, this weekend went good. We need a new police station. So talk it up all the time. Talk it up all the time. We need a new police station. Make signs. Hang them out your car. We need a new police station. Never mind a, never mind a damn school or a damn water plant. That's a big joke. That's money spent down the drain. Get it? Water down the drain? Good. I hope you do. It's, this town don't care. This town don't care. Uh, all they care about is the, is the grass. Oh, the grass. They made a big pitch at the town meeting. We need money for the grass. And people are donating money for the, so the grass will come up good. Spray it with green paint. Who the hell cares? You and your grass. You got grass in your head. You got rocks in your head. You got weeds in your head. You got stumps in your head. This school department is the worst School department on the East Coast, bar none. And around the, t around the different towns here where I go at night, different meetings, you should see the way they act. They act like ladies and gentlemen. There's no horseplay, this one is this, uh, this one is that. And they treat the residents with respect. They treat them with respect. And they don't do nothing behind their backs either. Uh -huh. And these people up at the school department, when you go up to the desk, you see... I don't know, 40, 50 people, all, all they're doing is drinking coffee. They're not doing nothing. Or talking about their new car, or their new fur coat, or their new house, or their new set of dishes. Who the hell cares about their new set of dishes? Get rid of half of those people. We don't need them. They don't do nothing anyway. They don't do nothing anyway. And then when you want to speak to the 
speak to the big head Sawyer, he crawls, he crawls to a, behind a, a filing cabinet. And he's got them all on his side. And when somebody goes up and wants to talk to him about their child, he hides. He's a sniveling little weasel. He's a little weasel. His head weighs about 150 pounds. But the rest of him, he's a weasel. You people don't understand. Look around, look around, look around when you go up to town hall. Tell me the people who are working. Tell me the people who are working. Tell yourself the people who are working. That's the best thing. Tell yourself the people who are working. And how many people are running up and down the hallway with a cup of coffee. Have a cup of coffee at, the hi at your house. Never mind going in the town hall and have a cup of coffee in the kitchen and stay in there for an hour. What if some couple, old, young, or whatever, want some important papers passed or signed? They're laying on your desk doing nothing. Doing nothing. And you're not helping the issue while they're getting nervous, wondering if the papers are going to get signed. This town is acting incorrectly, wrong, and they're disgusting. And this new town manager, he's, he's nobody, as far as I'm concerned. He's not doing one blessed thing in this town. Not one blessed thing. He has his people come up into, into the, into the uh, town manager's office to help him out. What the hell are they doing? They're doing nothing. The three girls who were there before, they're doing good, they, were, they were doing good things with Mr. Magato. Excuse me, not this guy here. Not this guy here. He's a, he's a, uh, he's a pea brain, pea, pea brain. Uh, mental Ill illness is running rampant in this town, especially at the town hall. Uh, uh, uh. Don't let teachers' special needs take your child out of class uh, to another room. You, uh, have him accompanied by another teacher or the principal. The disgusting things that have, are happening out west is coming here. Stop it now. Go see the teachers and straighten him out, her or him out. Now. There's no checks and balances in the school system. Those beautiful living kids, loving kids, and deserving the best care are learning, uh, learn, uh, learning. Ask around to people, other people, who have their special needs kids. I have, I've had stories about horrendous things that have happened to them closely. People called me up from years ago about their kids who, was, who, were, who were special needs and about different things that was done to them. They still have the sarcastic, lying, rotten letters from the school department. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, that's what this school department does. They create lies. They're crooks. And they're a disgrace to the human race. They're one big zero and, and, and nothings. Nothings at all. No, nothings at all. And some of these teachers, please, we get a teacher in a school that rides around with a Maserati. How's that sound? Uh, where the hell does she get the money from? Huh? Does she get some of the special needs money too? Yeah, she needs a Maserati like I need a hole in my head. Oh, oh, what'd you say? I got a hole in my head? What if I do? Why don't you come and plug it up? Cowards. You're all damn cowards. So just don't, don't even, please, change the channel. Don't even watch my shows anymore. I can't stand you. I can't stand you. Unless you come up to me like a man or a lady and say to me, you're right what you're saying. I'm on your side. I have no use for you. I have no use for you at all. You can sit in your chair at night get fat, eat potato chips and peanuts, drink beer, drink soda, and, and, and become a 500-pound a heavyweight. Takes you half an hour to get out of the chair. You fall asleep watching a TV show, and someone has to wake you up to go to bed. Why the hell should you go to bed? You're already sleeping. Or someone has to go and have you take a shower because you smell like someone's behind. Please. Please, please, don't get near me. Don't get near me. If you want to be on my side and know I'm telling the truth, fine. Then um, I'll be somewhat calm. I'll be somewhat calm. Don't believe it. 
Try, try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Try it out. It ain't going to kill you. Try it out. It ain't going to be kill you. I'm courteous to people who are courteous to me. But when someone gets heated under the collar, forget about it. Your lights are going out. And that's the truth, too. I want to say thank you for all my fans on Facebook, for the police station. Keep talking about it. And my email address is on the screen. Write me some emails. I don't care if you write 10 a day. I don't care. Give me some good information to go on. Because I can, I can find out where it's from, how it's created, and who started it. Very easy. Very easy. And the, in the, uh, in the politi- uh, yeah, and the officials who I brought up on this show, the finance committee, the school committee, and uh, in the uh, so-called the town meeting, um, um, t- t- yeah, town meeting members who work for the town and their officials, quit, resign, resign. You shouldn't talk for 3,500 people. You're only talking for yourself. And if you don't like it, lump it. You're only talking for yourself. We got some good and caring residents in this town who would like to see a good town once and for all. All your friggin' parades and all your stupid parties down Dean Park. Dean Park, Dean Park. That's all you hear is Dean Park. Dean Park is only for the, uh, is only for the big shots up at the north end of Shrewsbury. And I can, and I can prove that. A little league, a little league team wanted to go down there to have a game, and some jerk in a Cadillac pulled up and said, "What are you people doing here?" Ah, uh, we want to have. We're going to have a game of a little league here. And so the guy says, "You can't. You can't. This is our park, and no one's to use it." How's that sound? And I know the guy very well, who was the coach of that team. They could care less. They could care less about you. And go to the schools and see how their kids, are be- see how your child is being treated. Your special need child. See how they're being treated. See how they're being treated. See if their teacher is, is using, using their heads. Not bringing them in a room. A dark room or a room with hardly any lights. And, and, and dare to scold them. That's what happened out in... Uh, Last week out in Nevada, this teacher brought a kid into a dark room and certain things that I can't say happened to happened to that little boy. That's very nice. And ISIS, you're going to find ISIS here pretty soon and you're going to find more of those uh, jerky teachers coming into this town that the school committee hires for two bucks an hour. They put a title in front of their name and they think they're getting away with murder. And Boston has to pay them Along with, along with tax money. Uh, don't pay your taxes. That's the best thing. What are they going to do? Arrest everybody in town? Don't pay your taxes. It's very easy to do. It's very easy to do. If no one pays, they can't, they can't serve you with an uh, inflation rate. Uh, maybe that'll smarten them up. Or go to some of these meetings in town and see how abusive they are. To some of the proponents who want to start a business, or some of the residents who want to change something in their house, or add a room, or add a garage, or do what you want to do, go see, go go see, go see the meetings. Yeah, they have them on TV. Oh, great! I saw it. Yeah, I saw it on TV. Yeah. Well, there's nothing like firsthand seeing it. And then you can then you can see the uh, the big shot officials after the meeting and tell them how full of baloney they are, and stop showing off, and stop being a big phony. Uh, that's what they are. They're big show-offs and phonies. Whoever put them in there, and when they're to term, well, if, they, if it's an elected position, don't elect them. There's too many other good people in this town. Give them a chance. Give new blood a chance to get up there and get rid of that old blood up there now. There's too many. One person's been up there over 20 years. You know who I mean. Mo DiPaolo. That's a sin. He should have been out of there years ago. He's no help to anybody. Yeah, he knows something. Who cares if he knows something? Matt Adler loves him. What, does Matt Adler have a love affair with him? At one town meeting. We should keep the uh, old officials up there, especially Mo DiPaolo. He knows what he's doing up there. 
Yeah, but get this through your head. When they got first put on, put on the, the officials who were already there told, him how, told them how to play the program. And if he's out of there and a few more people are out of there, the remaining officials will tell the new officials how to play the program. They'll catch on. The younger generations is much smarter than my generation and their generation up there now. Much, much, much smarter. The planning board, zoning board, the uh, Lakewood Sigerman, the Conservation Commission, they're great. They're great, especially the planning board. They know how to act in front of people. They laugh. They put them at ease. They don't let them get nervous or anything. They don't let them get nervous or anything. If they forget a paper, don't worry about it. Come back next week. We'll have another paper for you. We'll have another paper for you. Uh, then we'll look into it then. Or if you can bring it up this week, we'll see it before we have the meeting. We'll give you an answer. That's how to approach every, each and every issue with discretion, with humility, and with politeness, and with kindness. Not what's going on now. Not what's going on now. And again, keep it up, you Facebook people. Keep it up. Talk about the police station. Write me some emails. Write me some emails. Write some emails about how those people on the finance and school committee should resign. Along with, uh, uh, get the police station on there. Get it so everyone can see it. So everyone can see it. I think I said enough, and if you don't like it, lump it again. Uh, I'll see you next time, and please send the emails and keep up the good work on Facebook. Thank you very much.